Hello, today we are going to learn how about mid circles. A mid circle of two given circles is the circle which would invert each of the two given circles into the other. The mid circle acts like a spherical mirror, which you can see the image distorted. When the two given circles touch each other internally at one point, which is their tangent point. First, we have to construct a line R through both center points O1 and O prime one of the given circle C and C prime. And on this line R, we construct a circle C2, which is tangent to both of the given circle C and C prime. Now we will draw the tangent line segments to this circle from the tangent point T1 of the two inverse circles C and C prime. If we join the midpoints of these tangent line segments, this line will cut the line R at a point which we which will be the center point of the mid circle that we want to draw, as can be seen here, highlighted in red. And the radius of the mid circle is the distance between O and T1, as can be seen here. Well, let's start. We start by drawing the line R passing through the center points O1 and O prime one which intersects with the given circles at points A and B as shown. So the next step is to find the midpoint of AB by working out the perpendicular bisector of this line segment. To do this, we set our compass on point A and with a radius slightly longer than half the line segment, AB, we scribe an arc above and below the line as shown. And now with the same radius and set the compass on point B, we scribe another two arcs, cutting our previously drawn arcs, getting two intersections. And now with a ruler, we will join these two intersections, obtaining a new midpoint M, which is the center point of an auxiliary tangent circle. And now setting the compass on M, and with the radius MA, we draw this tangent circle. So now we have to draw the tangent line segments from the tangent point T to the auxiliary tangent circle that we have just drawn. To do this, we start by working out the perpendicular bisector of the line segment MT. So again, setting a compass on point M and with the radius slightly longer than the line segment, than half the radius of the line segment MT, we scribe an arc above and below the line as shown. And with the same radius and setting our compass on point T, we scribe two new arcs above and below, intersecting our previously drawn arcs. And now with the ruler, we will join these two intersections, obtaining a new midpoint N. So the next step, setting the compass on midpoint N and with the radius NM or NT, we draw another auxiliary circle as shown. This circle intersects the circle centered in M at two tangent points C and D, as can be seen here. The next step is to draw the two tangent line segments joining point D with point T and point T with point C. So to continue, we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of one of these two tangent line segments, for example, line segment CT. So setting our compass on point C and with the radius slightly longer than half the line segment CT, we scribe another arc above and below the line, as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on point T, we scribe another two arcs intersecting our previously drawn arcs.
have two points which we will join with a ruler. Obtaining another midpoint which we will call P. So now we are going to draw a perpendicular line to line R passing through point P as shown here. And don't forget the perpendicularity symbol. This perpendicular line intersects with line R at a point O, which is the center point of the mid circle we want to draw, as you can see here, highlighted in red. And finally, to draw the mid circle, setting our compass on point O, and with our radius OT, we draw the mid circle, as can be seen here, highlighted in red. Okay, so here you have a complete explanation about how to obtain the mid circle between two given inverse circles. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by smashing the super thanks button. Until the next video, thank you.